This week's episode of Ignition is brought to you by GoDaddy, the HP Blackbird 002. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. At blackbird.wiki.com, ask.com, and the illustrations of the Prager Chupacabra dolphin fish. Prager Cabra. Welcome to Dig Nation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have <laughs> flies in your freaking house? I know this is so early. In Southern California, and I have fruit. You put <laughs> zombie, you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello and welcome to Dignation, episode number unt unt six. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Dignation covers some, not all of them, we're not going to lie to you. Sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, we have in the past, we've told you that we've covered all of the Dig stories, but we only yeah. cover some of them. That was, I think, first day Dig was uh, uh, released. Right. So there was two <laughs> stories. Two, <laughs> two stories. stories. We covered them all. We covered them all. Uh, but now there's like 9,000 a day, so we don't cover them all, but nope. uh, of the social news website, dig.com, D-I-double-G.com. That is correct, Kevin, and we are here in lovely San Francisco, California, and we are supping on, I dare say, some fine-ass beer. Yes. And this is the coolest gift. We've gotten a lot of beers. We've gotten a lot time. of beers, and too many to drink. People send in their home brews. We appreciate that. Appreciate that. But this is this takes the cake. This takes the cake. Uh, Although we, if it was mummy beer, mummy beer. Remember uh, mummy beer, Kentucky, no. the Tutankhamun beer. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was good. We didn't have it. It was uh, we saw it, but whatever. Go ahead. This was <clears> hand delivered <throat> to the dig offices, cold. Wow. Um, he flew it in from Germany on his trip out to San Francisco. Kept it in an ice cooler. Dude. Chilled it the entire time. This is what it says, Dear Kevin and Alex, I w unfortunately wasn't there. And I, w I wish oh, I would have met blows. you. That uh, blows. This bottle contains two, one of... 21 ounces, maybe? No. 21 it's gotta be more than 21, 21 ounces. I think it's uh, huge. Of Skrolschenbiger. He says it's called Stork Beer. The breweries made this stork beer, beer to celebrate the return of these birds. Nowadays, oh, only... Oh, Stork! It's really What's Stork right? Beer? Yeah. Nowadays, only a few storks nest in Germany, and this beer became a specialty of the Steinbach or Brach in Erlangen. Steinbach. Steinbach. Enjo Steinbach Brau. Enjoy the, um, uh, he says, in my opinion, best beer with some malt. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This is how we drink it here. I also brought you two mugs. Thank Dude. you for the mugs. Yep. Um, he said, drink the beer as soon as possible, max two weeks, if kept cold. <clears throat> how long did you have in your fridge? Two days. Nice! And it's not filtered, and it's purely natural. That's why I had to bring it by plane. It also, it's impossible to import this beer into the United States. What the hell does no it have in it? ATOY. <laughs> why. <laughs> but you know what? We got some. Did did tiki tiki. Good uh, this is good. I need a refill, by the way. Yes, I, I will. Uh, he goes, I hope you enjoy this and even use it on the show. Lewis, Lewis, thank you so much. Dude, Lewis. Seriously. Oh, <clears throat> this is what the people at home haven't seen. That's what he brought it Dude. in. Dude. I can't hold that. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's like 10 heavy. pounds. <laughs> I hey, type on computers up. for a living. All right, be careful. Hey, you're, you're pouring it, dude. That's, it's on top of your Mac. That is for your mouth. No, go, go, go. Go, go, go. More. Well, Come on. Don't lower it down. I had to see yeah. in there. I didn't want your foam, Mac. Okay, good, good. All right. Okay. So this is really, really good beer. Dude. I'll have to say this is one of the top five beers I've ever had in my life. Maybe I would, even... I, I know. Say Prager, see, I'm dead serious, dude. It's milky. And, and it's like I, milky smooth. I'm even going to tell you the good... doesn't no, taste no, like milk, Go get though. a new glass. Yeah, just, go just get it. Just crawl underneath the camera. Please. Just crawl. crawl. Go. Oh, no, there you go. All right. It's, you you want to... Glenn, you should try a little bit, too. Get, bring an extra glass. Now, Glenn's cool. Yeah, Glenn, <laughs> Glenn doesn't need... Glenn can't afford it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Glenn got an iPhone! No! Yes, because we made fun of him and he got an iPhone. And you know what? My iPhone broke. What did you do, dude? It, 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 okay, so if you take a look at that screen, I don't know if you can zoom in on that right there. Uh, That's hard That door. is, um, can, I, can you kind of see the scratches? Can you see that? No, it's not too much, Prager, it's ours. Come on, Prager, let's not, let's not get crazy. <laughs> Just a little sippity sip. Um, so Did I dropped you it. The crap it out works. Of it. You know what? And, and but it was all glassy when I picked it up. Like there's like fragments of glass coming off of it. You mean shattered? Yes. So I taped it, and uh, you know, uh, no cutty. It, it, it kind of shave. You're like bald it, right here on your uh, head. Shave if I want to now with the uh, nice the glass. Oh, I hear that doing that. <laughs> 
It's kind of, there is little bits of breath. It's like, but <laughs> it still works. And well, that's uh, good. I can even push where it's cracked and, and it works, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it for a little while. Yeah, it's not, I mean, Plus, it's just aesthetic. Yeah, you know, I was gonna go get a, a re return it and get a new one. But um, I don't think you can return it accidentally shattering dude, the face glass. Okay, the, okay, I'll have to say <clears throat> one thing. The only the one benefit of being the the freaking Dignation show yeah. is that if you talk to the right person at the Mac store, you get the hook up. Little hook up. That's good. Dude, when I went to get when mine broke the first time, yeah, <laughs> yeah, God, <laughs> you lick it like that. They couldn't see it, but I had to uh, look at it because it was dripping. <laughs> Um, you don't do that with a beer on the side? What, are you going to waste no, it? No, that's good. It's good. Pray your house a beer. It's good. It's good. It's really good. Anyway, um, I told you this story, though. I took my iPhone in there to get a new Love replacement. It. Love it. And they're like, we're, we're all sold out. We're all sold out. And the guy was like, Dignation! I'm like, that's the guy I need to talk like, to. hey, my buddy! And free uh, replacement. Did so I okay. tell you what happened to my to Heather's iPhone? You did. You uh, you were guys were playing in, around the in same. In the ocean? Yeah. And then she was able to return it. It was yeah. very nice. Uh, all right, shall we get this big sham shammy uh, damn doing? Yep, let's do it. All right. First story, the biggest ever BitTorrent leak media defender internal emails go public. 4,620 people dug the story. Submitted by Tokenama. When Torrent Freak reported that media defender MD was behind the video site M-I-I-V-I. <clears throat> Mibi. They, Mibi. They cast doubt on us. Now... In what I'm sure is the biggest BitTorrent leak ever, nearly 700 megabytes of M box. Oh, MDs. That was just a little glip in the thing you wrote. Uh, MDs, Media Defenders emails, have gone public. When Media Defenders Randy Saff found out we rumbled uh, Mivies, what it's called? Yeah, Mivy. Mivy. Uh, he said, this is really fucked. This is too but much more so. Right. So basically... Huge news. Media Defender, on this site, they talked about, on, on torrentfreak.com, they talked about Media Defender as sort of like um, a gang for the RIAA, MPAA. They're like the guys that go out and sue grandparents and sue seven-year-old kids. It, well, they, they do really tricky things like... Um, they'll post up movies they, they post with... post up fake torrents yeah. so that you're like wasting your time downloading nothing. So if you've ever downloaded like a torrent and gotten like really, it's all corrupt. Or and like that thing up. where like the song would play for the first ten seconds and it would go like super yeah, loud. Yeah. Anyway, well, it turns out that there is this new peer-to-peer um, -peer networking site for torrent links, uh, Mevi, and it turned out that it was not actually not a legit site, even though I guess it was the only legit site. All the other ones were not legit, but it was actually a trap to get people to upload copyrighted content to this site mm -hmm. and then they would go and bust them. Well, they call it the honeypot. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. But and so they, but the bottom line is they went and said, we know this is a honeypot for you guys. And they said, no, 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 it's not, it's not. And then I guess they released these emails that they found that are like damning. Well, so there, there's a whole like, there's like, Four or five thousand emails, something like that. Mm -hmm. Something crazy. Six months um, of corporate emails back and forth. Yeah, seven hundred megabytes worth of. The, I mean, and they just go back and forth yeah. the entire time. Like, we need to find a new domain for this website. Blah blah blah. I mean, basically, this is like, I don't know. I, I, I can't. I mean, it's, it's shady. It's just, it's really just screwed up. I can't believe they would stoop this low. Yeah. To go and trap people. I know. You know, it, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Well, well and it's like. Dude, spend time doing something else. You know what I mean? Like, can't they pay to do something else rather than... Because I feel like it shouldn't be... I mean, is it really that you want the guy who downloads something, you know, the one song that he would ne never buy anyway, and just kind of download because a friend was like, oh, you should listen to this, and he listened to it a couple times. Is that really the guy that you want to spend your money going after? Right. You know what I mean? Like, I see going after, like, the Pirate's Bay. I see going after, you know... Um, um, small private sites that have tons of copyrighted material. I, I see going after those people, the the DVD reproduction places in right. you know China and shit and Taiwan. Right, right. I see going after them. I just don't see this as a, an effective way to stop people from doing this. Yeah, but you have to understand. I, well, I mean, I'm sure you do understand. There's there's no. This is their last line of defense, right? I mean, there's not really anything. They well, there's can no do. line of defense. There's no line of defense. Yeah. 
that's the funny thing about kind of the digital world mm -hmm. versus like real life. It's called the digi world. The digi world, <laughs> if, you, if you will. If you will. Uh, just, you yeah. know what I mean? Like if, if somebody's like smoking crack on the side of the street, I mean, you tackle them, the cops arrest them, and they take yeah. them in and they book them for freaking illegal drugs. Yeah. I could be burning like illegal shit right in front of a cop car. Like oh, set yeah. my laptop on the cop car while they're having lunch and be like, oh, I just need to use it to just do yeah. some homework. Be like pirating the shit out of it, and like, yeah. and they wouldn't know the first thing. They can't know. stop me. No, you know, I know. I it's know. like it's so much harder to crack down on this kind of stuff. And and then, did you hear what happened to the Media Defender website? Hackers like found a bunch of exploits and it's like hacked the shit out of it after Good. this. But it's like it's like a war. I know. It's pretty badass. And but, I don't know where. I don't know where I should fall. I mean, like, you know. Well, the know, funny thing is they can't fight back. Like, you can't legally entrap someone, right? Right. And you can't legally, like, do denial service attacks. Now, wait a minute. If you can't legally, if entra what about entrapment? Isn't that entrapment? It is entrapment. Then they how can't. are they legally I allowed to do this? I think they were doing it. They weren't. They, they never really, I, now, if I'm really effed up and I didn't read some article, don't yeah. screw me here. <laughs> but I, I don't think that they busted anyone from this website. I think they were using it to gather information. Find out who the big cedars were. Find yeah. out where stuff was coming from. It was more of a kind of reconnaissance, kind of like mission for them than it was to go out and bust people. Yeah. But um, that was kind of my take on what I read. If I'm wrong, then let me know. But uh, yeah, it is messed up. That's tough. It is. It's gonna be fun to see how that all unfolds. Yeah, I can't imagine. I do the RAA. I heard this news report or this like interview with one of their lawyers on N on NPR, and it was like. We think that in time, history will show that we were the people who put a stop to internet piracy and that if we hadn't done what we were doing, then they're saying that because sales are rising, they, they're saying it's because they're suing people. That's why sales are rising. And it's so asinine. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, that's so not the way to think. And I don't know, it just it irks me. Yeah. Same here. Pirate, pirate, pirate. Sort oh, it's Talk Like a Pirate Day. It is. That's right. Isn't it? It's nice. Are, are you going to Scarborough? Pringer. Pringer. How's the beer? Pringer. Beer. Pringer. Dude, Glenn, you have to try a little bit. He did. Dar. He, he said it was the dar, the best grog he ever had. He did. Dar. She blows. Your story. Uh, next story. How about the iPhone? Apple Daddy. iPhone store credit, 1,570 people took the story Nate, submitted by Nate Douglas. It is now up and running, by but... Nick what? Nate Douglas, not Nick. Uh, but apparently unannounced, if you bought the iPhone before August 22nd, you are now eligible for a $100 uh -huh. electronic credit. Did you get yours before August 22nd? I did. I bought it day one. Did you get your credit? Not yet. Dude, go to the website right now. What? What? Hundred dollars. I know, so I can buy Mac stuff. Wait, oh, I don't want to buy well, Mac stuff. Well, but you stuff. know it's a hundred bucks. I know. I think I'm actually gonna try to sell because I'm gonna need mine and my girlfriend's because I bought two phones. Oh, sweet. So two hundred bucks. But I was thinking I'd sell it Dude. on uh, eBay or not sell eBay. It to me. Sell it on. Uh, I was gonna sell for like one hundred seventy-five. For both? Yeah. Eh, One fifty. One fifty. Come on. I gotta get, I gotta get out of bed to do this up, deal. Dude. Maybe. A cash right after we get done with this. And ATM only doesn't 20, so 160. All right, you're talking my talk. We'll see what happens. <laughs> right. We'll anyway, see what happens. But yeah, I mean, it's so, it's 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 great. It's great. It's not all. It's not. It's not the 200 dollars that we right. spent. But you know. But what? I agree. Liam actually, when we were talking about this, Liam actually made a good point. He said, you know, it was worth the 200 bucks for me to have the joy of being one of the first people to have it. Totally. The waiting online, like it was really cool. I met some really cool people in line, and like it was just like, and and Apple, I will say to their credit, they made it a fucking event. I felt like I was saving. I, I felt like I was curing cancer. <laughs> I mean, you get in there and you're like high five, and you're like, fuck yeah, I did stand in the line. Yes, I did that. Yes, totally. thank you. And then they're like this. They're like, this is what you're buying. Oh, I can't. I can show you. I can. I can touch it. But you know. can't touch it. In, not until you get yours. And I was like, I want to touch it. I want to touch it for now. I don't know. It was so, it felt cool. so, it was great, so great. I was like, "Fuck, I'm doing this." I know. I, I bought and this. And you know what? For like stupid. For like two weeks, you could chicks would fucking flock to that shit. Prager, we were at, at sushi on. on <laughs> Prager's like, "That wasn't dinner." <laughs> on 16th Street, remember with Troyer? Yeah. 
with that hot little honey and I set my phone down? You know what I'm talking no, about? No, you didn't. Oh, dude. You went like this? You're like, watch, I'll throw out the bait. No, I did. I did. <laughs> no, no, no. And you're like, no, no. <laughs> but no, a lot of people yeah. had it. It was the first week and I had pictures of my cat on the phone. Oh, you did tell me dude. about that. Yes. So I sat down and she's like, she's like, oh, iPhone. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you like, yeah, here's my pussy cat. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, here, I'm like, here's a picture of my cat. I'm like, see how it zooms like that? I'm like, blah, blah, blah. and she's like, oh, cute cat. You're showing your dexterity. You're like, look how I, look the guy like, look how I go like this. I'm like, see how that, that's, see? that's nice. Look at it? that, you just go up and down like that. So I, I, I basically show the picture of the cat, and then and she's like, cute cat, and I'm like, yeah, I got it from the pound because I did. Where is she, that little fucker? She's crazy. She's in there. She'll get <laughs> She's you. She's hunting us, dude. Dude, she like, came up through time, my crotch. Every time Alex comes over, <laughs> she sits on the ground and looks at his crotch. <laughs> no, why? And I'm like, dude, all right, I get it. <laughs> the I, I know, no, it's no. impressive. No. <laughs> but it's like, I just sit here typing, and I think it's, there's like a little hole that it makes right here. No, and I swear to God, I was like, him off, I was literally just, camera. just typing, and all like, of a sudden, there was like, I saw the cat and this claw like around. I was like, what the? And now she just sits, and mm -hmm. uh, I blew Glenn's eardrums with my what the. Sorry. I think. Um, anyway, so anyway, well, I'm glad that the was short. a little bit of a magnet it for you. It was $200 for me <clears throat> uh, for those first couple weeks. But you know what? got 100 bucks. I don't know what I'm going to buy. I don't know what I'm going to buy. Yeah, I need to upgrade my, my G5. You don't need to upgrade G5. You know what? I'm well, I edit on it. I oh. do shit on it. I mean, I use it. This is this Not is a really day. this is a really weird moment for me, and I, this is my Ugh. first announcement to make it here on Dignation, and I, I haven't even talked to you or Prager or anybody else about this, and it's a really weird thing as a computer user to say this. I'm a little scared. What? <laughs> I'm thinking about getting rid of my desktop altogether. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that easy? No, like seriously, I've had what? a desktop. <laughs> Computer, like as yeah. if, as if as a one geek to another. Sure. Like I've had a desktop computer with mm -hmm. a big monitor, and like that be the place where I sit down I and do my sell thing. You monitor your twenty four inch yeah, Dell. Yeah, give me the twenty four inch Dell too. I'll give you the credits for the Dell. No. Why that not? Dell's like three hundred fifty bucks. No. Just saying. Wait, wait, well, I'm you just saying you just there. go like this and I leave. You, see you what still saying? have my Wii games that you haven't returned to me. I want I sold them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have them. They're at my um, Heather's house. So, anyway, you know what I mean? I don't mean? think that's... Like, I think know, the desktop's funny. dead, I dude. I don't think you need uh, to buy another one. I, I think it's dead. Uh, I, I will disagree with that 100%, and why? I'll tell you why. Video games. Okay. If you play video games... I have a laptop. I have the fastest video game laptops on the planet. It has a work. It's great. But I still want to sit at my desk. I mean, it's great. On the road, fucking powerhouse. Are you? Are but I still want to sit at my desk. I got my comfortable chair. Let me ask you a question. It can be faster. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be f my fucking, my super fucking overclocked, liquid-cooled fucking Falcon Northwest fucking badass is just going to be faster than anything I can put in a laptop. Right. I agree with that. But let me ask you a question. Does, is, it, is it the screen real estate and kind of where you are when you're experiencing that? Or is it really the speed? Like, could you hook up an external monitor to this right here and be happy with that experience? I could be happy. It's not the same experience. It's just a little bit more choppy. They're not quite there yet. Oh, no, no, no. It would be, I mean, it would be smooth, but it wouldn't be smooth how I want it to be smooth. Right, I got you. I mean, you have to knock I, some no, stuff dude, back, you know what I mean? Because, like, I'm running Actually, a freaking quad-core Intel Extreme fucking 2.66 gigahertz running at 3.22 overclocked. You know, it's I take crit, dual SLI fucking. You're right. You're right. Bam! I mean, you know that what? shit is so. That's but that's the only thing. Well, I'll, I'll that's say the only I'll thing. say one thing. I haven't played um, the only game or that video I, editing. I think video editing. Well, you know what? I do video editing here all the time. You can do video editing, but like freaking uh, people have like when they have fucking video editing shit. things, they're like they gotta have a desktop. Well, you gotta have a desktop because it's when you want to render stuff, you want to make stuff happen. It, it's a lot quicker with the faster process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. And I say, well, I think you should get rid of your desktop. Well, a couple All things. that stuff. I'll tell you why I will. No. I'll tell you why I won't. I, <clears throat> I, I will because I, I rarely game. And yeah. the game that I play most, which is Command & Conquer, just came out on the Mac. So I'm stoked about that. So I'm happy with it on sure. here. The other, but Plus, Command & Conquer is a game you could play right, on the laptop. Right, exactly. But the reason I think I'm going to keep the desktop now that I think about it, and you, you said the reason Did why. I? Well, I didn't, I. Um, Crisis. When that shit well, comes out, yeah, Crisis ain't gonna I need a no desktop for that. that. There's no laptop on in the planet that's going to play Crisis. Right, right. So anyway, I take it back. Never mind. Cancel all that. <laughs> I'm well, my desktop. I'm, uh, I need. I want to play Crisis. I want to play Crisis. Crisis. I, I might have to buy a new desktop now, actually. You will, actually. <laughs> Damn it. So can I sell your monitor? No. Did you connect your TV up? 
that TV sucks. I know it does. It looks it, pretty. I wasn't gonna lie to you, but it does. I mean, it's a nice TV, but it does mm. suck. It's 1080i. Dude, my buddy Steve bought the 53. I think it's a 53-inch Sony Bravia LCD Ooh. 1080p. Connected a Mac Mini to it. Sexy. Really? Jesus. I want a 1080p really bad. Dude, the Sony Bravia. Yeah, I gotta wait till I get something else, like a better, better house, better place to live. I think that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. All right. Yeah, ooh, Steinbach. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. That's good. I want some more of that. Yeah, I'm gonna have some more of this myself. This uh, is, next story. This is so good. Thank that you. is. So I'm gonna hook up the credit, but I may I may sell them to you. All right, we'll talk about that. Uh, next story. This is funny times. Weatherman caught on TV <laughs> playing with boob. Man, after. After my own heart. <laughs> Can't really explain this one. You just gotta see it. It's it was for like breast awareness day. Right. Right. I wish we had that day. Um, there is breast awareness. No, no like breast, breast cancer, cancer awareness, awareness day. That's right. I just wish there was a breast awareness day. It was like ah, ah that's what those are. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Um, he was on his like little screen, and there was like this it's, CGI like wireframe. It's boob. like rehearsal. We all do this. Like anytime you do TV, <clears throat> yeah, um, you do rehearsals, right? And so yeah. he's rehearsing for it, and they, they put up the blue screen. Yeah, yeah. And he just starts going like he like pretends to be licking. He's like, dude, play the video. Play the video. Dude, it's you epic. Have right here. He's like, doot, doot, doot. and then what he says, the other thing he does here, I'll play it right now. Uh, here it is, right here. Turn the, turn the audio. Up. I need Doing audio it. for this one right here. Hold on, come back. And rewind. There we go. Oh, what? boy. Uh, I don't know. I don't want that. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> He's licking Breast it. Breast milk donors. He's like, goes out, he licks it, and he gets so excited by it for himself. He's like, <laughs> and then he goes, hon, 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 hon. <laughs> and then does the old of tuning, course, tuning in the, the, radio the, the radio dials. So, I mean, Quickly, I feel try. bad for this guy because honestly... I know! This guy's a fucking no, no, no. millionaire! No, he's awesome. What? It, but the problem is that he's, he might get fired for something like this. He had to issue a formal not... apology. Oh, did he? Yes, he did. He had oh, this huge apology. Oh, weatherman. I mean, this gets out on the internet and people are like, I don't want my weatherman grabbing breasts and Chris women Chris Allen. Offended. It's funny. Fucking fun, dude. People need to like. He the wasn't fuck doing up. this because he wanted to. Like he was like acting he, like. Yeah, he he's was, not a rapist. He's no. a fucking digital chick, and he was like, "Hey, look, I'm okay. funny." First of all, let me tell you something. As working in TV, as we have, we have done that. Um, when it, someone puts you with a CG behind you of a gigantic four foot titty dude. next to your, there's you, a, there's a tit that's four feet high yeah. next to your mouth. What would and you, you do? And you look on the screen. You know what I'm saying? And there's a big breast right here. Are you not going to turn to the left and suck on it? Of course you are. <laughs> Man, woman, fish, child, doesn't you matter. You are. That's what you're going to do. Because it's huge and it's right there for Dude. your mouth. I just, am I making sense to anyone You are myself? making more sense Thank than you. you may not even know. Thank you, sir. You are Chris Allen's hero. Thank you. Chris Allen's my hero. I've got, we should call him. I wonder if he has a We phone. should. We should be like, dude, you don't know what we're all about, but yeah, fuck, I'd suck that titty. He gets fired, he goes into porn. <clears throat> dude, and no then, way that guy's getting fired. Come if on. Guy, if you that would... guy gets fired, we gotta hire him just to do that every week. Just like... Just put different things. No, he has... He has Carrot. A, he could just be a porn star. No. Well, no. he's kind of like the Ron Jeremy physique kind of. But anyway. All right. I think that would be an interesting audition. <laughs> Next story, Brakataki Katakata. one of the day, and no, I lied by that. No, it's not. Uh, by a long shot, Jesus. What I know, time we've been is talking. it? Go? Uh, New Digger Profiles launched. 2,541 people dug this story. It's been by John Rahong. The Dig team is excited to launch New Dig user profiles later tonight. A.K.A. Now, earlier tonight. A.K.A. <laughs> right now. So, um, good news and bad news. We're recording this as they are being worked on and launched. Uh, that is good the good news. news. Good, well, no, the good that's news, the bad news. The good Wait. news is that um, new, prof new profiles are awesome. <coughs> Lots of new features. Finally, 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 a lot of people have been asking for this. Um, filters such as if you want to see the actual comments that you make in line of all of your friends, what they're commenting on, actually see the comments without having to go to the story and hunt for them. 
uh, bring all the videos and news and everything together in one single unified feed. So you don't have to go to that videos tab and then back to the news tab to kind of find different things. I thought that was already there. Uh, well, it was on separate tabs. It was, it was kind of confusing. I thought it so. was all news video. No, there wasn't all. Oh, on the home page, yeah, but not on the profile page. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, yeah, it's sorry, all profile yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, the coolest new feature, though, is definitely is the ability to send stories to your friends. So you can click on share under every story and say, I can say, to Alex, check this out, bra, send, boom, and then you get a notification next time. I'll be like, oh, wow, what a great bra. There you go. <laughs> check this so, out, bra. Oh, that's a cool bra. That's a uh, nice bra. Bad news. Uh, site's down. Site went up. Profiles look great. Crashed. Site's down again. So ah. by the time you see this, hopefully all the kinks will be worked out. But um, I hope it's up by the time this well, is released. Well, it's just, it's hard, man. It's hard. Dude, you're just preaching It's a hard. lot of traffic. It's a lot of traffic. People don't realize, um, every time they, they think about new features and running a website, Yes, it's very easy to code features, but one thing you have to understand is that when you make something that can withstand several million people per day, it takes a lot of extra code and a lot of scaling, over a hundred servers now. Um, it takes a while to work out all the kinks. So. hundred servers, huh? Well, I mean, that's... I remember when it was a Blade server in your apartment. I remember seeing yeah, that little I know. server. It was a single server. You're like, dude, I'm going to install this today. And then yeah, Ron yeah. was like, I it was like, it was, it was two servers, but now it's <laughs> freaking over a hundred. That's cool, nuts. dude. That's cool. Um, yeah, anyway. Well, that's cool. We'll take a look at that as the years progress. <laughs> and we hope that works out. Yes. Next story, Google. <laughs> and by Google. By Google, I mean Grog. By Grog, I mean Google. Google presentation. Google's PowerPoint app goes live. 1,927 people submitted this story. Uh, dug this story. Submitted by Varus. Uh, Google's long-rumored and eagerly anticipated PowerPoint clone has finally shipped. Although we've only had a chance to have a first look, here are some imp impressions. Uh, what's there? PowerPoint import, versioning, collaboration, online presentation sharing. What's not there? Animations, sounds, video exporting to PowerPoint. Oh, what do you think? Sir, you know, uh, so let me let me tell you. What this is I part think. of the Google Apps. All right, I'll. I'll this is kind of a really hard. I'd one say, for me. I'm going to say Google Apps has been disappointing to me. You know, I, I was just going to. I was going to say uh, there's a couple really weird things going around in my head. I look at Google Apps. You're going to get rid of your desktop. No, not that. <laughs> I look. No, at that's Go also in there. That is, it's there too. <laughs> uh, but I look at Google <laughs> Apps, and when I first saw that they launched, I, I. I I felt as though I almost wanted to use them rather than Word and Excel, and I understood right. the, the the cost benefit of having a web-based application that is free, right? Uh, versus uh, being in kind of the enterprise where you have to pay for you know five hundred dollars for the office suite, right, right? Right, right, right. Then I started using the apps, and I'll <laughs> have to say when I want to do a quick little Excel spreadsheet and share it with friends, yeah, and I'm and I need to collaborate with multiple people. Right, that's the key. Where I'm like, where I'm like, you know, Prager needs to see this expense report, and so does, um, you Bill know, Bill Seamus, Baggins. and so does Sarah, or whatever else. Right. I'll add them all to the same share. We can all jump on via the web and contribute to that uh, Excel spreadsheet. That right. makes sense. It's very basic, works. But when there's certain things like real document editing yeah. with, with like uh, tracking changes yeah. and revision history and things like um, like like this, like like actually creating a presentation. Yeah. I'm not gonna do some kind of like nasty little half-ass presentation. I'm gonna open up something like you know. Um, Apple's Keynote, which has some amazing filters sure. and things like that, or have you know do Straight a PowerPoint, PowerPoint yeah. presentation because it's it's feature complete. You know, there's a yeah. lot of things there that you can't do. This is it's great. It's a I good step. It's a great it's step. A good step. But it's not gonna it's not gonna wow anybody when I say here's my Google presentation. You know, it's gonna yeah, look like yeah, they'll be like, oh, I guess you couldn't afford PowerPoint. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's right. what it's gonna be. It'll look like you made it in, like text edit or like you know like <laughs> like Notepad, and yeah. people will be like, ah, oh, that's yeah, no no front page. Huh? Scrolling Arial twelve. Yeah, like totally like, yeah, front yeah. page. So they've got a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I but hope they're on they the way. Get, they're on their way. I don't way. know if they're on the way. I, I see the first versions of it, and I don't see the revisions coming out. I mean, they should be rolling out. I know it always takes a long time to build new features, but uh, well, here's themes. Look, and let's Google, take a look at themes. <clears throat> There's one with grass. Look at the grass. Let's look at the grass theme. There we go. That's okay. not bad. That's not bad. That's uh, not bad. Actually, this is quite good. Well, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, is that really what you're going to do? Yeah. I don't know. Dignition Prezo. I'd watch that. 
Oh, but no video, no animation, so it's not gonna go. <laughs> and how do you do full screen? I'm sure uh, it's all. You I'm sure can't. It's here no, you don't do full screen. No, I'm sure it is. Yeah, that's your preset. Anyway. I don't know. I yeah. I I'm, I'm excited. I love that they're doing this. First off, Google has so many cool things that they're doing that you don't even know. Yeah. Like Prager was talking about, like a text thing where you Sorry can text like a a, fl- a thing. Sorry to start the presentation. Yeah. Joining this presentation online. Can you paste it. It's kind of cool. I, I like it. I mean, <clears throat> I get where they're going, but uh, like you said, it, this is a five-year project, right? Yeah. You know, in yeah. five years from now, this will be badass. And we'll all be like, I'm glad Google invested in this, and it's awesome now, and yeah, it's great. Yeah. But uh, it's very early. <clears throat> yeah, too early for us. <clears throat> yes. What? Why is my cat crying? I don't know. Is this next story true? Uh, what's the sure, next story? It's your story. What, look oh. on your script. Next story. Next story. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is true. Doc develops enzyme that destroys HIV. 2,960 people dug the story submitted by... How is this not all over the fucking newswire? It is. You missed it. HIV is no longer... No, let me explain. Oh. Submitted by... (laughs) This is what we call... The title tells no tale. No, submitted by Bar West Jar. Dr. Idarvi Sakara has every reason to be excited. Her PhD thesis, which started in 2002 at the Max... Planck University in Germany. Max Planck? Something like that. Where is it? Where is it? Plank. Max Planck. 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 Uh, has thrown open the doors for developing enzymes that can talk. destroy the dreaded human HIV. Human thing. immunodeficiency. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. V. I'll break it down. <laughs> virus, virus. I'll break it down. Um, okay, break it down. So. Let me whip out that uh, PhD of yours and let's talk about this shit. All right, so there's 126 cycles of mutation. Boring. No, sorry. Cy- <laughs> The whole <laughs> bastard. There's a Homer Simpson. Person. There's 126 cycles of mutation in the complete like HIV genome, right? Okay. Um, they have developed, or, or she has developed, an enzyme. Yeah. Which will basically uh, <clears throat> destroy these at the kind of test tube level, which will completely. So it attacks the testes. <laughs> No, it, it, it's seriously, it's, it's big news. Like, people are freaking out about I'm this. I'm freaking, dude, what? No more um, HIV? That's crazy. And Ravi Shankar did it? No, no, no. And Ravi Shankar. Uh, she's an Indian scientist. Mm-hmm. Um, it, but it, basically, it's this hybrid enzyme that can go in and, like, chops no, out. beer. You don't want beer. That can chop out the kind of like virus and detach it from everything else, and then it just dies. So what? So is it something that you just give as an injection, and then they don't have AIDS anymore, or don't have HIV? Well, they're saying that basically, <laughs> uh, it's going to take at least five years to get it to actual like injection form. Okay. Yeah, but five years is nothing. It's nothing. Right. It's nothing. And they're hoping they've never tried it in a human. Like, okay, person, yet, right. but this is one of those things where it shows more promise than anything else that e- that's ever been out there. I mean, okay. it's, it is working right now. Wow, um, dude, that is crazy. I know, I know, it's nuts. It's very, <clears throat> I mean, if on. they can get, uh, that's huge, you know what I mean? Like, and not only is it huge here, it's huge, like, there are places, you know, I mean, like, I, Africa, it's like oh, I know. rampant. You know it's what insane. I mean? Like there, it says there's 39.5 million people right now living with that HIV and AIDS. Jesus Christ! I know. Have you ever been? Uh, no, I've never had tested? it. Tested? No. Oh, oh yeah, tested. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've never had it. Well, I don't know what the fuck you were asking. <laughs> Have you ever, you know, <laughs> that could be anything. <laughs> Have you been tested before? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah same yeah. here. It's that is scary, scary shit. dude. Because you're oh. like, there's no way. Oh, there's like a zero, zero know, percent dude. chance that I have it. But dude, I know. I know. when you get that doctor comes in and is like, yeah. And then like they get, it's it was like, there's the way that they say dude, it, no. this so like fucks up. Cause they're mine like, just happened recently. So no, 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 I'll tell you what happened. Um, Dig was like, we want to get insurance on you in case you, like, oh, something happens. Oh, I thought you were like, it's the Dig HIV yeah, day. Yeah, check gonna... check yourself for HIV. It's our day. We have the office. No, seriously, they were like, um, we want to get insurance on you. You need to go have a physical and all that stuff. So I went in there and they're you like. Don't have ins- you didn't have insurance before that? No, insurance like life insurance. Like, should I die? Dig gets money because I die. Oh, that's. It's like executive life insurance. It's some bullshit. Anyway, 
Um, mm, no offense, John, because John set it up. Thank you, John, for doing that, and the company appreciates it. Um, but seriously, uh, they, we go into the, I go get it, like, the whole thing, like, where they hook up your heart, and they, they monitor your heart and yeah. all that shit. And you run on the treadmill. And so they're like, oh, we need to do an HIV test. And I was like, oh, when can we schedule that? And they're like, well, you can come back next week or whatever. I'm like, okay, sounds good. And so I was like, oh, shit, right? And so I'm like, Pff. so I go, and you can actually go to yeah, Walgreens. That's... And you can get this little HIV test kit. Because, dude. But you had I'll to be... know before? Dude. Oh, I were will... you, like, no, no, embarrassed no, no. if the doctors no, no, no. were like, yes, no, you no, have no, HIV? No, no, You're no, like, no. oh, yeah, no, I do. Because the doctors don't notify you. The freak, and they notify Dig. And then my CFO comes in and sits me down and is like, John's like, hey, In dude. the conference room, he's like, dude, you got AIDS. I'll be damned <laughs> if, like, I'm going to get John's if I'm going to find you? out through Dig. Moffat like, comes in and sits you down. That would be epic. Right, exactly. So I was that like. That would be bad. It this would be is, bad. No, no, this is good. So I go to freaking, and this is great for everyone out there that this is just curious. Um, you go to Walgreens <coughs> or a pharmacy, and they have this little home test kit. It's called, like, I, oh, that's I don't cool. know. You I can, you know go, they had a home test Go to drugstore.com. They sell it there. And it's, like, it's like 35 bucks or 40 bucks, right? And you buy it. And you take this little thing and you prick your finger and you put a little dot of blood on this yeah. little card. Yeah. And then you, they give you the prepaid like envelope and everything. You drop in the mail and then they give you a number to call with your little access code. Yeah. And so I call on the number, I, yeah. I dial in the access code. Did you make sure like, that access code was correct? Yeah, I did. I put it all in right. And so, How sucky would that be? You're oh, like two digits <laughs> off. <laughs> like, bleep. I, somehow, I, I don't think they do like two you digits have like, digit after digit. Well, I didn't even know that was screened <laughs> for that. No, oh, but, I was wrong. I was... Four four two. It was really cool. Not they, four four three. They were like, we might transfer you to a counselor even if you don't have AIDS, so don't freak out because they have counselors on staff twenty four seven. So I'm sitting there and it's like, it's like, thank you for calling, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you like, you have <laughs> HIV. <laughs> like how horrible no, would like, that be? It's like your test results were processing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't just say processing. processing. It's like processing. 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 Mm, interesting. Processing. <laughs> what is it? What's interesting, Mr. Computer Voice? That would be mm. awesome. Mm. Processing. I haven't seen this before. Yeah. Processing. Weird. Processing. <laughs> Little strange. Yeah. Or oh, might be. Wait, I'm not sure. Still yeah, processing. Yeah, yeah. Processing. <laughs> Could be 12 different viruses. Processing. <laughs> like, narrow, well, it was. It's like narrowing down. Yeah, narrowing down search string for <laughs> foreign body oh, that's processing. Awesome. <laughs> It's like hepatitis A out. <laughs> <laughs> Processing. That, was that like... would be. <laughs> Herpes simplex out. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. We should. It was it. as scary as that, man. Anyway, Dude, I know. It, it, seriously, what it does is it's like. What's it's up, like, Taki? You want some beer? Don't no? give her beer. I've done that. It's really messed up. She gets giving crazy. Dude, have you done catnip uh, yet? Yes. Did I have like, some roll in, in it and shit. Um. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to poke you. Um. So one of the things that, uh, well, anyway, glad that it, you're it, just goes, it just goes, it says yeah. your test results were negative. Yeah. And then you can actually, they will send you a little card if you want in the mail. So like if you want to show your, like, your, your partner or whatever, you can be like, yeah. hey, there's a card, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Anyway, go get it done. Everyone should because you, you should. Yeah. Know. Well, the good thing is that people should know because there are drugs out there that will make you live until something like this comes out. Yeah, no doubt, dude. And if you don't know, you can like, your case can get bad and like you'll yeah. die. So you want to know. Yeah. And I'll be all... Better to know than not. Drugstore.com. Because knowledge is power. Yes. Same school. Uh, Jesus, what's... It's hair. <sighs> she sheds. Jeez, she really does shed. My dog sheds, so it's all right. Uh, UF student <laughs> tasered at John Kerry speech. 4,648 people dug the story submitted by Fozzie Mandius. Ooh, that's a good name. <clears throat> uh, HTTP colon slash slash YouTube.com. Uh, so this is a YouTube, this this story came out um, a little while ago. Uh, uh, John Kerry was at, uh, I think it's the University of Florida, right? Mm -hmm. UF? <clears throat> University of Florida, uh, giving a speech. And this guy got up to ask a question, and he kind of went on a little bit of a rant. You know what I mean? Talking, you know, doing all this stuff, not answering, que not asking a question. And um, the people who were there were like, are you going to ask a question? He was like, yeah, I'm going to ask my question, but I'm going to talk a little bit too, you know, yeah, yada, yeah. yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> Long story short, the cops decided this, this guy's got to go. And they unceremoniously tried to get him to leave. He was, you know, saying, no, I'm good. Why do you, what are you doing? Why am I doing, what are you doing with this? Why am I doing this? And all this stuff. And then they tased him. Right. But they didn't, and it is they didn't, big. they didn't tase him. <clears throat> 
I think this they is where... They didn't tase him? I thought well, they tased well, him. Well, they did, but this, this is the confusion. I thought confusion. he said, dude, don't tase me, and then no, they tased no, no. him. The difference is um, a taser is when someone shoots those pronged hooks into you. Yeah. That's a taser. Yeah. They, they shocked him with a stun gun. I thought tasers were... Taser was a company. It's the same thing... If the difference is one shoots out like a gun. So not the one with the hooks. You. They did, they did like the ones with hooks. They did the okay. one where they just shock them and okay. like just. It's a little bit different. I've my friend got shocked in the nipple with one of those one time. I'm dead serious. That does not sound like fun. No, it didn't you really hurt him. Test. He was like, if it fucked me up, but it didn't. It didn't really like. Yeah. Anyway. What What do you think of this? Have you seen so the video? I did watch the entire video. <laughs> yeah, I did too. And, and what I think about it is that. That's the distinction. I understand what the student was trying to do. He was trying to get the truth, and he wanted to ask John Kerry a question. Yeah. But I think that he went about it wrong. I think that when you go okay. into a, a scenario like that, you bring out the book, and you say to him, like, have you seen this book? I'm curious what you think about this. Like, Kind of like he did, but yeah. then he played that whole kind of, like, conspiracy theory thing that's going on. Yeah, and like, yeah. you don't know. Like, I don't believe you, blah, blah, blah. Like, he didn't let Kerry answer, right? Because he could yeah. have had a normal back and forth yeah. with Kerry, and everything would have been fine. But instead, he went a little bit on the kind of, like, this guy might charge the stage at any time. Yeah. And any time police think that you might charge the stage, they're going to try and remove you from the place. Of course. You know, because he, he was borderlining on that kind of, like... Aggressive, I, I yeah. might get a little crazy about this. Yeah. And I think if you would have just dialed that back just a tiny bit, you'd have been fine. Uh, I'm going to say... I don't think I, they should have tasered him. I don't do not think they should have tasered him. They removed him, and I can understand that they were just a little freaked out about it. Yeah. But they should not have tasered him. I, I'm going to say that I, I think... That what the news media has done with this is exactly what this guy wanted. I think this guy, because this guy walked up to a girl he had never met and said, "Hey, can you videotape me?" I mean, that's where the video's from. Right. And she was like, "I'd never met this guy before in my life," and I was like, "All right, sure, I'll videotape me." And then he got into the thing. And plus, if you notice, when he's being let out, if if there are three, four, five, six cops and they go, oh, "Dude, it's time for you to leave," be like, "All right, cool, we'll see." You yeah. know what I mean? Like. Totally. Even if I didn't think it was right for them to have me leave, I'd be like, well, you guys are cops. There's five of you. Yeah. What am I going to do? And this guy was, like, big and, like, moving around right, right, and totally. hands up. And even though he was saying, like, hey, well, I don't even know. Stop. What the hell? Stop doing this. I don't even know. He was, in his it's, body language, you could tell that he was being an aggressor. Right. It's like the Monty Python and the Holy Grail guy where he said, I'm, stop, I'm being repressed. Right. You exactly. Yeah, that? exactly. And so I think... I don't think he should have been tasered. I don't think whatever. But I think the dude, this is exactly what the dude, the fact that we're talking about on, sh on our show is yeah. exactly what this dude wanted. And then he kept saying, like, and he they're going to make me disappear. They're going to make me disappear. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, maybe he's just some crazy-ass fucking dude. <laughs> right, right. But I, I really think that this was, yeah, I don't think it was planned that he was going to get tackled and tasered. I'm sure that's not was not on his agenda. But I think making a big stink Getting, you know, getting on uh, TV. This is what this guy wanted to do, oh, totally. and we're we're feeding it. You Absolutely. know what I mean? And I, I, I kind of feel like when I watched it, I was like, please don't tell me anybody's up in arms about this. If anybody watches this and goes, well, that guy was just being totally normal, and he was totally not resisting arrest. I mean, it's like there wasn't any arrest. They were just like, dude, your time's up. You gotta get, you gotta get out of here. Right. And if that happens, if cops do that, even if you don't believe that they, what that they have the right to do that, just fucking go. You don't need to get a fucking boot in the back of the head. You know, you're not proving anything right. to me. Well, the, the thing you is, I mean? is like, this wasn't, there's a time and a place to kind of resist, right? There's, there's, there's this wasn't a demonstration. There's, this there's, wasn't there's a fucking, protest, like. There's protests, there's demonstration. Yeah. There's places <clears throat> where you, you band together. Yes. And, and you fight and, and you oppression. Fight, and you, know, you fight for what you believe yeah, in, right? Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly. He wasn't, he wasn't fighting. For, he had a question for Carrie, and he got a little nutso about it, and they removed him. Yeah. And there, this wasn't a fight to be it's had. not a fight to be had, had, no. So anyway. You should have gone to McDonald's, had yourself a sandwich, and gone, that fucker didn't answer my question. Right. <laughs> not, right. I'm going to take on five giant police officers in front of frickin' Senator Carrie and get tasered. Right. Exactly. Well, that said, no, ta dude, forget tasering. You stop already had the guy people. on the ground. Stop it. Yeah, stop tasering. <clears throat> we should put guns back in their hands. They were a little bit more careful. Yeah, you don't shoot somebody that does that, right? Right. You taser them. You stand up with a gun, most people go, uh oh. Bring back the nightstick. I mean, just hit him what a couple What happened times. to the old nightstick? The old nightstick. I mean, what's wrong with a nightstick? I mean, seriously, they could have beat him a couple times. Agreed. And then he just left. Well, he would have been, been unconscious. Well, you don't have to beat him that bad. Okay. Anyway. Partial beating. Partial beating.
That is it. Shall we to the sponsors? Kevin yes, House? indeed, we shall. And we are being sponsored this week. Last week, actually, we told you about the uh, the brand new HP computer. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. That's right, the Blackbird 002 or. Uh oh, two. That's right. The double oh two. Uh oh, uh, it's two. really it's really like their top end like cream of the crop kind of computer that yep. they are. They're only creating what was it five hundred eighteen right here. There's only like five hundred eighteen yep. of these machines. Um, and I wonder the where they got one. that number. Was that? I wonder where they got that number. No, why five eighteen? Like how five, many of those new processors do we have? Five hundred eighteen. Let's make five hundred eighteen processor like plans. Like five twelve, I can understand. Kind of a RAM like a plan, half this gig. Special amount, and then they're going to make some more generalized ones. But like this hardcore, hardcore limited edition is five eighteen. Super right? limited, yes. five eighteen. And they sent us one, and it's very cool. And uh, we are showing you some footage of us opening it up and playing with it. And playing with it, possibly uh, breaking it, possibly no, it breaking break. it apart. But it does have some cool features. We mentioned uh, all liquid cooling. Uh, very it. easy access to the case, like completely toolless to good. get in and change anything out. David toolless? Uh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah. Keep a couple yes. component of part, yep. No, the, the, the thing is that they, the way they design and engineer the case <laughs> is they keep like different chambers that put off different amounts of heat separately so that they can cool them separately. That's cool. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, go Head over to uh, blackbird.wikia.com. And uh, write about, uh, put down like what you would do for it, uh, what kind of things that you would want to see in it, what, how you would customize <coughs> it. And on, Oct on October 5th... Do we get to keep it? Uh, no, no, no. We don't get to keep it. It's a very... I mean, this Aww. is the highest, one of the highest end computers, the highest end computer we've ever given away. And October, We're giving it away? Yeah, on October 5th... What? Face your paint? We are going to randomly select a winner. So if you While want, we're in London, we're going to randomly do that. If you want this, like... Badass top of the line <clears throat> HP computer. Yep. Blackbird signal um, dead of night. Go head over to blackbird.wikia.com and this is like seriously, you're gonna want it. This is it has everything. I want it. Nice. I didn't want it about You know what I want? Ask.com. I want it. I want ask.com. Why do you want ask.com? Ask.com. We gotta thank askgod.com for <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Askgod.com. No, ask.com for supporting Dignation. Uh they're con we want to promote a bunch of their new features. A lot of the features blow me away, dude. And their new ads, super their sexy. Ads Have you seen funny. their ads? Yeah, yeah. No audio, super sexy. Love the ads. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to talk about their calculations, registry, and movie listings stuff. Mm -hmm. I did not know this. Prager brought this to my attention. But if you type in wedding registration, mm -hmm. it or like re wedding registry, it not only does it show you some wedding registry stuff, check this out. <clears throat> But it actually asks you the name and date of the wedding, and we'll search all the wedding registries and see if your wedding shows up. Whoa. What? That's crazy. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so, like, if you were marrying I'm the Ponce de Leon. Bride, I would put you're in. the bride. The... You put Kevin as the bride. <laughs> Rose is the last name. And then you do search. And, oh, dude. <laughs> really? You're gonna do that? What? Why and not let anybody else in? <laughs> First off, it, that wouldn't be the last name. Yes, it would. No, it wouldn't. Not Why? Yet. Keep my last name. Yeah, but you don't register with the last name you're gonna have. I don't know how these things work. <laughs> no, that, Whoa, that would that's be. That's crazy. It searches all the yeah. different uh, JC Penney's, the stores the things, where they're registered. Beyond. That's. Uh, the, so Genius. I'll tell you one thing that's really, well, I, I, this isn't even in our script for the ask.com thing though. But one thing oh. I like about ask, the, seriously, about their search, is that they bundled all this other little stuff where you're just like, oh, yeah. I need that. Yeah, you're it's like, right there. Oh, I needed that and I forgot that I right. needed that. Yeah, cool and there's stuff. no like, uh, it's, 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 it's good stuff. So if you want to head over to ask.com, do it. And also while you're there, why don't you put indignation? Yeah, search, yeah, search for something. See we had what special happens. content last week, and we had special content this week. I don't know. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's different. I don't know. You're gonna have to try it. Yep. Try some other things. Whatever. Yep. Bunnies. <laughs> bunnies. Some bunnies. Those, no, it's not bad. Uh, next sponsor, <coughs> GoDaddy.com. <coughs> Starting at just three ninety nine a month, web hosting for GoDaddy.com includes ninety nine point nine percent uptime, twenty four hour support, and free access uh, <laughs> to Metropolis. The place to install over 30 free applications. Uh, be sure to get the most from your hosting plan and website. Um, this is something new for them. It allows you to install a bunch of default apps 
right into your websites, like cool. different types of blogs, things like blogs. that. You can just like boom, things. one click install. Plus, enter the code DIG5 when you check out and get an additional $10 off any order of $40 or more. So, I'm sure you for details. Turn. Get your piece of the internet, GoDaddy.com. Now, one thing Turn. I want to say real quick, and again, we don't have to go above and beyond for our sponsors like this. Dude, I got an email from um, DIG. Oh, that's nice. Uh, one, one thing I want to say, oh, cool. that's cool, um, about this whole thing with GoDaddy is that I was watching another podcast the other day. This is some kind of random podcast. What was not, it called? Not on Rev3. I don't even know what it was. It was just like... What was it about? I don't even know. I was just like... I, was, I don't, You're just fingering around. I was drunk. I don't know what it was. I was just, dude, dude, drunk podcast dude, is the best Get a shot way. of that. Glenn. What? Quickly. This is, what, this is her skills. She is a climber. Watch this shit. Okay, hold on. She's she, like, dude, not on camera. Hold on, hold on. I re- she, this is the position she jumped from <laughs> and landed here, right here, and this was where my head was at four in the fucking morning. From there, yeah, I see you, Kittle. Oh, she's, I'm, no, 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 I remember. Oh, she's pissed. Dude. She's going to oh, come on you. She's going to jump on you right now, Please dude. don't come on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even funny. You said it! Dude. That's horrible. What are you? Why upside down? She, really? Dude, she's crazy, dude. She is crazy. You're nuts. All right. All right. Anyway. So back to the back to the good yeah. So what I was gonna say about GoDaddy. One thing I want to mention is watching a random podcast, and I saw GoDaddy out on there. And I'll have to say, this was a no name, hole in the wall, kind of just getting started podcast. And one of the, the coolest them, things dude. about GoDaddy is that they got cash and they're putting it to support the new podcaster. Yeah. And it's like, that makes me feel so good Dude, about them as a sponsor. Had, we had so much fun. Well, first off, they've been with us. They were the first. They were. They were the, the first, first company that said, that we'll said I think this you. is a good idea. And you know what I mean? Like, it was just so good. And we, it was, we, we, we've loved having them. They're so nice over there. And freaking Bob Parsons is great. Dude, we have such a fun time with Bob. Like, it's just... I'm it's a really you, fun company. I, I'm I'm really glad that they have stayed well, a sponsor for the show and that they they're branching out and just they see they're one of the companies that really sees new media as as a viable future for well, advertising, and, which and, is great. And it feels good to when when I'm buying domains or whatever I'm doing on their site mm. that you're actually like really supporting someone that supports the entire community. Forget yeah. donation for a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. the entire community <laughs> podcast. They're sponsoring. Like eighty percent of them, and it's like that's yeah. that's what means something. So it's really cool, cool. Stuff. and they're really great over there. I mean, going up to the the uh, Infineon race, oh, dude. like they're First doing all, the Super Bowl ad, like yes. it's just. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Yes, <clears throat> getting introduced to people that you may want to table something about a table bending. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, is that it? Let's do some emails, shall we? Let's do it. All right, I have a non-picture email here. Hey, Kevin and Alex iPhone hack is the question. Uh, this is from Ryan uh, B. in Melvern, PA. Hey, Kevin and Alex, I've been listening to you guys since episode one. Awesome. And this is my first time writing in. I'm glad we were able to uh, read your email. My mom just got an iPhone, and I have gotten her permission to hack her phone. Best thing she could ever do. I uh, just wanted to know what you guys use to hack your phones. Uh, you guys rock. Keep up the great work. I'm, uh, this is, look at that, hello, hack hackalicious, mm-hmm. hack like a ding dong this, slide up skis, slide down skis, <laughs> all I'm saying. Well, there's so many cool Ryan, applications now. Oh dude, there's so many cool applications, dude. it's not even funny. So what you want to do is you want to search in Google, uh, I think it's Nullsoft is the company that does it. Just doing a search for installer.app. Installer.app. Mm-hmm. Do you have to have a Mac to do it. No you don't. you don't, they have a PC version, don't you? I heard you say that last time and then I found the PC version, so suck. My left <laughs> finger, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so go to installer, just search for installer.app. Um, you download the installer, you install it onto your iPhone, and then all of the hacking is done on the iPhone, my friend. It's amazing, go crazy, have fun, good luck, Godspeed, and if your iPhone breaks, uh, we are not responsible for any breaking damage. Of course. Uh. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes. Um, so, that is it. No, you have an email. I have an email. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, and uh, uh, you have an email. Oh, dude, is, is that uh, Sturgis? No. It's fucking Sturgis! Oh, dude! Down. That's epic! What? I've always wanted Shush. to go to Sturgis. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me just read this. 
Hey guys. How did you choose this email? My you didn't even know Sturgis is. My wife and I rode down to Sturgis this year and we had to bring our Dignation shirts. <laughs> Dude, Bob Parson rides. We were we going to do a Dignation bike ride. Since episode one and enjoyed watching the drinking. Yes. Any excuse to have a cold one. Right on. Anyways, here are a couple of pics from Sturgis. If you Fuck ever Sturgis. end up in Winnipeg, uh, you can buy us a drink sometime. We would love to. Uh, I thought since you had took a look at my ugly mug, I would take a picture of some of the bartenders from the Full Throttle Salon oh, as well. Dude. Look at Hello. 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 That's what I'm talking about. So he's wearing his Dignation yeah, yeah, shirt, just it. chilling. Look at this. Dude, fucking Sturgis. Look at all those bikes, dude. first dude. of all, he looks like a badass. Dude, that is a... Some some of our dude. some of our fans that write in we're, we make fun of them sometimes but you they, can't really we're not making fun of you dude. Your ass. yeah yes. dude look at it uh, does he have his bike go down let me see if he's is, oh, that, is that his bike if that's his bike dude go. that is pimp that is a pimp bike if it is your bike anyway let's uh, look back at oh I've so wanted to go to Sturgis dude is that like the big biker thing <clears throat> yeah it's like uh, it's this huge biker get together uh, every year and it's so much fun and I've been thinking about riding oh. oh hello how could we not dude if we did a live Dignation from Sturgis do you ride at all yes I do dude we freaking ride up on bikes oh, I would love to buy freaking a bike Harleys, dude. just ride up dude I want a Harley so bad but my lady friend I don't think would let me have one dude, dude that what do you mean? That's what bikes are for. You kick down the door and you go, God, nah, we're getting on this. We are doing this. Dude, you know what? It would be bad. Dude, I rented could... a Harley when we were in Hawaii. We Can I rent a Harley? Around. Yeah, dude, what? That's so much fun is renting Harley. Should we Harleys. go from, from, from like LA to dude, New York? Dude, we should get all of our fans. Not, no, LA and New York? No, my ass would be so fucking numb. It's not even funny. But we should get dude. all our fans to meet us in either LA or San Fran. Hop on bikes. We go to freaking Sturgis in like a giant Dignation caravan. Dude, this is like a genius idea. A giant Dignation caravan. Parsons will fly out and do that shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude! And then we do a live show from Sturgis. Where is Sturgis? I don't even know what this is. I don't even know. I think it's in like it's it's in like freaking Oregon this or somewhere. Great, I don't know what it is. South Dakota. Dude. 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 Yes. 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 Oh my God, that'd be awesome. Okay, next year, beginning of next year, <clears throat> like done. March. Sturgis time. I guess we'd have to Prager, do that. write that down. What? Sturgis. Sturgis. <laughs> Renting bikes and riding to Sturgis in a caravan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is that? Nah, nah, don't worry about it. We'll finish our show. Finish our show. Finish our show. Finish our show. Oh, it's his girlfriend. No, no, no. Finish, our show. finish our show. Prager's finish girlfriend. our show. Then sorry, we'll talk. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Prager show. Oh, this is girlfriend. Prager, Prager, turn that around. Check your um, pie. All right. That's it for this edition of Dignation. Oh, whoa, whoa, uh, that I'm it? Kevin I didn't Rose. Get so mad at the this end. is Kill Cat. Uh, I'm Alex Albrecht, not Kill Cat. And until <laughs> next time, Thank you Steinbach Brow. Kill. Closer. And it's gonna be big.